hello friends my name is sharad and today in this video we are going to learn how, how to configure the rc log server uh, which will be act as a centralized logging server the all machines all the client machines will send the their logs into the centralized logging server uh, which will be known as a rc log server okay and these client also have a rc log packages all right so <clears throat> right now uh, we are doing this practical in the centos and the version of the centos is 6.5 and the architecture of operating system is x86 64 that is 64 bit okay so here we have okay first of all let's uh, by default uh, in the machine in the centos or the red hat base or the red hat enterprise linux we have by default uh, rc rc log version 5 but we are going to install the new version that is uh, rc log 7.6 so first of all check which version you have in your system rc log rc log d hyphen v it will show you the what exactly the version you have or you can use rpm hyphen qa command to find out which version of the package you have in your system this is rc log rc log 5.8 dot 10 hyphen 8 okay so first of all we will upgrade this uh, rc log version rc log uh, package we are uh, we will upgrade and uh, let me tell you something more about uh, this system which i am using it uh, it has ac linux enabled and we can find out with the command cat enforce it will show you enforcing mode or otherwise you can go and simply find out the file it will show you enforcing but it is good idea to check with this command because might be possible you have edited this line and you haven't started the system or somebody else not started the restarted the system and it will show you in the uh, whatever the mode it was previously so to get the information of what uh, ac linux what is the status of the ac linux so always use the get enforce command okay it is right now enforcing mode uh we are not going to disable it in this practical and uh, let's check out if ip tables uh okay this is a by default ip tables which comes uh when you install the fresh uh, centos or red hat okay red hat 6 or centos 6 so now first of all uh, we will get the information of uh, the repository from which we are going to install rc log version 7.6 so i have already opened the website link and the website link is rclog.com hyphen rhl centos hyphen r t m s okay so this is the link uh, i will also paste this link in the description of this video so right now Uh, at the time of creating this video uh, we have uh, four links here v8 devil v7 devil v7 stable v5 stable so we will al always select uh, we, i suggest you to always select the stable version okay so uh, what is the repository file here you just i i read this line and uh, i found out this is the actually link in which they are stating about the repository so i don't want to ho the complete file if you want to use it you can use it but uh, i need only this portion that is uh, rc log v and devil and uh, rc log v and stable okay the only this line i will copy it and uh, i have have copied it okay and i will use this uh, repository this yum client configuration in the rc log server which we are configuring right now create a new file inside the yum.repos.d and the path is slash etc yum. 
repos.d and uh, here is a no the few files are there so we will create a new file called rcslog.repo and we will paste the content here of the yum client configuration content okay and save and uh, now we are updating our rcslog i will not advise you to go with the yum update the reason is if you only use the yum update command there are the other packages which will be which can be updated there are other packages which can be uh, updated okay which can be upgraded also okay now for example kernel uh, i will just let uh, let's see this output it is taking time okay so till it resolve i will show you what exactly this is a centralized server centralized logging server and it will have our syslog package and the client machine will send all its log to centralized logging server okay uh, similarly there are other clients we can so let's play something Okay, this client two also uh, sent all the logs to this centralized logging server and the client one. All right, I think it is very small, so it can't be visible on the screen. Okay. Okay, leave it. I think it is done. See here. So when you use only yum update command, so other packages uh, will also be there, and they want to be updated. Okay, so I, we do not want to do it. So I'm pressing N now, and I particularly target the RCS log. Yum update RCS log. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, let me show you something. Uh, we already have a RCS log version, right? And this configuration is uh, configuration file located at etc. Okay, there's a lots of uh, commented lines, hash 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 lines. So let me make it short and easy to read. I will use egrep command egrep hyphen v. <coughs> cap sign then hash it will remove all the lines which is started with hash and all the blank lines okay this means start this means end so in between there's nothing right it is a blank line correct and this is a start and this is a hash so this these lines which has been started it will be not shown in the output it is not going to be permanently edited here okay i use this let me clear for make it more readable so after hitting this command what we have found this you can see the configuration is mode load amx sox it has been written like that okay this is the actually configuration all right and uh, let's do one thing take a backup of it in case uh, something goes wrong while updating the package original v52 original version 5 it looks good now okay uh, i have taken the backup so that if something goes uh, something goes bad or any problem we find while doing the package update so we can revert back the settings 
if anything has been modified at that time okay uh, now we will run the command yum update rcslog and we will update the package all right so it is using some lib blogging lib gt lib str okay i press yes now it is installing the package of rcslog new version 7.6 the stable version always suggest you to use stable version don't use beta alpha anything okay that is only for testing purpose okay and uh, all right just run the command once again rcslog d hyphen v it is showing 7.60 and uh, let's check the actual package name okay 7610 this is what it is installed okay one more time shift page up okay from the keyboard i'm using shift page up so it is moving up scrolling up the page okay yeah this is now shift page down it will come down like this and press space bar to come down completely here now in the terminal uh, we have seen our syslog t r sys log t hyphen v 7.6.0 version successfully updated all right now once again check the file has it been updated so best idea is if you want to check any uh, file has been updated or not so let's see etc r syslog any modification has been done or what all right 21 march 2 okay it is not as per the record it is not showing anything but might be possible it has been changed rcslog.com okay again i will use the egrep i will call it from last time i used the egrep command so i will use exclamation mark egrep okay so there are some changes we have found right here this is not looking as we have seen earlier let's go back page up no no we already have a file there so we can use it right uh, this is a file after update etcrcslog.com and uh, this is something i have written here like see here there is a difference of writing so this is the new version upward one this one okay now oh sorry for wrong command so let's check out the new configuration here module load uh, mxsoc and i'm imkg log so what we are going to do now now we will take also its backup because this is a new parameters it has a new parameters and it is a rcslog.com so you can name it anything else or for my safety reason i'm using origin.v7 all right and it is a rcslog.com now first of all we will enable the udp port udp port 514 and we have removed the two lines module bracket load equal to i am udp bracket close then that there's a next line there input bracket type equal to i am udp port 514 if you want to change it this port number you can do it but as per this practical only keep it as a 514 because we have to do some as in linux uh, command to use it but straight forward to this video just keep it as a 514 by default all right okay done now we have done small changes that is only we have opened the udp port now we will add the template here and uh, 
oh i did it very fastly right i opened it press shift g it moved to the last line press o of the key to insert but move to the next line cursor will move to the next line and i have some template already ready and i will use it so to save the time uh, here i will also paste uh, this uh, information in the link so don't get worry uh, here is a template name tmpl auth and this is another template in tmpl msh and uh, as per my configuration i have uh, give the directory i have created new directory rcs log custom means the all the logs will go inside the rcs log underscore custom and uh, the new host name directory will also be created and uh, the program names and dot log like this this is architect and this is the architecture of the and the log which will be created like this inside and in the template message uh, in the sorry in the template the tmpl message uh, i have included asterisk info mail none auth prev none chrome non none so you can see here all the informations above also chrome is your var log chrome mail log is your var log mail log like this you can edit and uh, add in the template and auth prev i have added is the template i think it, it should be access log or let's see okay auth prev yeah this is secure here in some operating system it shows as a access also might be <coughs> okay so these are the two templates i have added and uh, let's save it and exit that's it okay fine now the rcs log configuration editing part is done and uh, we have let's start the rcs log server etc init.d rcs log restart okay one more time now check out uh, okay this is a udb server so net state uanp net state hyphen uanp grab giving pipe sign before and uh, rcs log will it show yes and it is listing on 514 but we have uh, slinux enable which can give you some trouble as well uh let's see if it is required or not mm, var log ls from lhrt have you seen that i haven't created it automatically get created this log this sorry this directory okay i just restarted the service and it automatically get created otherwise you can also create 21 14 2116 okay while create uh, while uh, creating this video in this uh, new rcs log underscore custom file no sorry directory get created because it has been written in etc rcs log dot com file here and uh, i restarted the service so that is the reason it has been created right now we are in the var log let's check is there any messages from rcs log version not yet i think all is good okay so mhm mm uh it seems there is no problem here but ip tables uh, yeah okay so there is no port uh, ip 514 is not allowed here you can see and uh, we are going to allow the ip table first of all uh hi uh, so okay go to <coughs> cd slash etc sysconfig and open the file ip tables 
and uh, before any reject uh, column of the input before any reject action or for the input before we have to use this so I will use it at, at the starting that would be good okay and I have written hyphen a input hyphen m state hyphen f state new hyphen m udp hyphen p udp destination port hyphen hyphen d port 514 j accept so this ip table rule we will add it in the etc sysconfig ip tables file okay now restart the ip tables it is in dot day ip tables okay done now check the ip tables 514 514 yeah this is the 514 here okay and for the udp port now uh, up to this part we have done and let's see mm, we have to find some client here so this is i already have a client sudo su hyphen l okay so now we are going to add our client which will send all logs to our rcs log so we are doing this practically in the virtual box actually this is our rcs log sent to us rcs log server centralized logging server and this ubuntu uh, it also has rcs log by default and this is my system so it is better to use uh, terminal 101 is the ip address i will access it as such, my name, username 192.168.56.101, I believe. Yes, and giving the password. Here we go. So it has the IP 101, and let's see if this IP can ping it to my RCS log server 103 192.168.56.103. Yes, we have to check it all this stuff before yeah it is working here all right now mm -hmm. get etc rcslog.conf let me steal something here this line only <coughs> okay now this is client actually this Ubuntu I am taking as a client. You can use it in other operating system also, which have rcslog.com file, which has those rcslog packages here in inside the system. And uh, I have right now Ubuntu. So this is a client for rcslog. Now add it. sudo vietc. Does it has vim? yeah it has vim so i will prefer to use vim here sudo vim etc rcslog.conf okay go to last line and i will give some command to, uh, client for say one one oh three this is rcs log server good to use the comment because uh, it is easy to read and what the configuration you have done so here we are using in the last line <coughs> sorry asterisk dot asterisk at the rate remove this one at the rate at the rates only single one remote host is uh, 192.168. 161 yeah, this is 56.103 okay so here we have the configuration this is the port number sorry this is the ip address and this is the port number 514 okay now in the client machine we start the 
आर सी स्लॉक सर्विस डन लेट्स सी हैव वी गॉट एनी थिंग आर नॉट गोइंग टू द आर आर सी स्लॉक सर्व सी डी वार्ड लॉक सी डी आर सी स्लॉक कस्टम येस वी हैव गॉट दिस वी हैव गॉट ओबन टू होस्ट नेम एंड द क्लाइंट मशीन होस्ट नेम इज ओबन टू ऑल राइट सो दिस लोकल होस्ट इज द इट सेल्फ आर सी स्लॉक सर्वर and uh, just move to the ubuntu and all right we have some files here log files cd dot log not has just started <coughs> logging let's see which line okay now we i'm using the client machine here cd var tail var log and uh, sudo Okay, I have to go cd var log. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, for the sudo access, uh, they have logged. So, okay. Just log. So for sudo, they have uh, <coughs> filtered it into the sudo dot log. <coughs> sorry so for filter it to the sudo dot log and uh, there is a different rc log d kernel dot log so let's find out where is the in which log it has the sudo information <coughs> auth dot log has the sudo information and uh, let's uh, try to match if it is work march 2 21 to 22 40 pam unix close user root mm, 21 20 it is uh, 21 22 okay 21 22 at 40 21 22 to 40 yeah this is the line okay so here we are right now in the client machine and i have opened it the file auth.log from which it is uh, replicating to the rcs log server now find out once again <coughs> so we have logs right now 21 23 let's see the timing here 21 23 43 21 22 23:43 and pam unix session open for user for root by share then so this is the same here so it is now replicating very easily <coughs> very easily sorry got some problem here okay now everything is clear and uh, likewise just go and add in other servers either it is a centos or uh, Red Hat or uh, Ubuntu or uh, Debian, you have to write down the, in the same manner. You have to add the client in the same manner, like asterisk dot asterisk over everything. At one ninety two, give this replace this one ninety two one sixty fifty six dot one o three. it should be replaced with your rc log server ip address and uh, 514 is the port so this practical is done okay and uh, that's it so if you have any questions if you uh, want to comment and ask any kind any questions related related to this video and if you like it and if you want to subscribe just subscribe to my channel i have my own blog called sharachhetri.com you can find it <coughs> uh just type in the url sharachhetri.com so this is my personal blog here and i write all the technical stuffs related to linux wordpress freebsd unix open source blah 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 okay so if you like my video subscribe it 
and there are something more i am planning to create the videos and uh, okay that's it thank you very much thanks for watching let me close the kaza kaza okay